All four of these Rick and Morty comics are issue number one, but only one is a first print. Some of these are even variants. Want to know how you could tell the difference by just looking at the barcode? Stick around, and I'll teach you a little something something. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello everybody, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics. Welcome one and all. And today I'm going to help you learn some of the little secrets of comic book barcodes that can help teach you in a glance what issue number a book is, if it's a variant, or is it a second, third, fourth, or fifth print. It's very easy to spot. And this is going to be a great help for people who are either brand new into the comic book collecting world or somebody that's just been out of the game for a couple of years and is just getting back in. So let me show you how easy this can be found. Now, this is only going to work for modern books. It's not going to work for Copper Age, Bronze Age, Silver Age, any of those books. So unfortunately, if you have older books, it's not going to be as easy to tell. But, I mean, when you're talking Silver Age, for example they don't have variants so it's pretty much going to be for modern books now of course there are also exceptions to each rule so every now and then you're going to find a comic that just not does not fit with this this little trick so keep that in mind but probably 99 percent of the books that you find are going to be able to be used this way so i'm going to show you two books this of course is two different copies and let me put it in the camera of rick and morty issue number one now, they look exactly the same, but one is a first print and one is a fifth print. So even if you didn't know that, and let me put it in frame, even that you didn't know the difference between the two by just looking at them, I'm going to show you how you can tell by the barcodes. Because if you know about Rick and Morty, this one is the first print. And this one is the fifth print. Now, most people can tell because there's a little added part here. But let's say you've just found the comic books and you're just collecting today and you know nothing about that. So how would you be able to tell the difference? Well, since this is a modern book, we're going to go based on the barcode. So let's zoom in and I want to make sure it focuses. Okay, so the first box right here is what we're going to concentrate on because this is going to tell you everything that you need to know. Now, the first three numbers, the 001, that's going to tell you what issue the comic is. Because you could see right here, issue number one. But let's just say that wasn't there. How would you know? So, these first three numbers will tell you what the issue number is. So, as you can see, this would be able to go up to issue 999. So, as of now, there's only one comic that will not fit into that rule. So, you know, Action Comics number 1000 and then Continued won't probably apply to this unless they just made it one longer. So if you see an extra number here, then that basically just means they added it for the issue number. So it should, if it is correct, and it goes with this pattern, it would say 1001, and then there would be two more numbers after that. Okay, so 001 is the actual issue of the comic. Now let's go to the next one where you see a 1. That's to let you know if this is a variant or not. So if you see a number one in that section, that means it is not a variant. So this is not a variant comic. This is a first print, first issue. Now we see the last number. The last number will be what printing this comic is. So if you see a number one, that means it's a first printing. So anything higher than that would mean it's a second, third, fourth, etc. So let's check a couple of books and let's see if that pattern stays true okay so here's the other book that i showed now let's zoom in and let's go by the barcode so actually see i'll show you i was wrong it actually wasn't a fifth print it's a fourth print now you notice it's still issue number one so we'll zoom in over here and you'll notice zero zero one so it's telling you that is issue number one now the next number we go over you see a one which means this is not a variant, it is still the first issue. But as we see in the last part here, the number four, which means this is the fourth print. 
So I actually was wrong. I thought this was the fifth print. But it shows just by looking at the barcode, you can actually check. So let's go over a couple of others because I want to make sure I show also about variants. We have a couple of more issue number ones. So let's see by you pausing the video once you see it. Put in the comment section what you think each one is and let's see if you get it right. So let's zoom in. This is also Rick and Morty issue number one. And just so you can see when it zooms in, that's a number one. Okay, so let's zoom in on the barcode. Okay, so now you'll see you have first zero zero one one five. So pause this video for a second and tell me which issue number, which I've already told you, is it a variant, yes or no, and which printing it is. Okay, so I assumed you paused it and you did the guess. So as we go here, 001 means it is issue number one. The next number one tells you that no, this is not a variant. And the last number, the number five, will tell you this is a fifth printing. This is also, well, I won't say what it is. You let me know. Okay, so here is another Rick and Morty comic. Now I am going to cover up, see if it says it, okay. I'm going to cover this part up so you can't cheat. So let's focus on the barcode alone. Okay, so now you should be able to see it. See it, and just in case if you can't, it says zero zero one five one. So again, I'm going to ask the questions, and I want you to pause it, and let's see if you get it right. So this is question number two. First, what issue number is this? Is this a variant? And which printing? So pause it, and let's hear your answers. Okay, so let's see if you got it right. And I have this covered. So you see the first three numbers are 001, which means this is the first issue. So as you can see, that is true. The second number you see after that is number five, which means this is a variant, and it's the fourth variant. Because remember, number one means it's not a variant. So if you see a number two, that means it's the first variant. Because like you see with multiple covers, it's telling you which one this is. So this is the fourth variant that came out on this particular issue. And as you can see here, it says variant, but not every book will say that. And since the last number is a number one, that means it is a first print. So we're going to do a couple of these. So this way you can kind of get a feeling. All three of these books are issue number four. Now, which one, if you didn't know offhand, would be the first print? So let's go over each one, and you tell me, is it the first, second, or third? And this time I'm not going to say anything. And then we'll go over it afterward. Okay, so I covered it up with a piece of paper, and you can say, see, that it says 00421. So, again, pause it, and you tell me what issue is it? The cat wants to know, is it a variant, and what print is it? So, let's see what you think about that one. And for those who want to see my cat, he kind of loves just showing up. <sighs> okay, so, let's see how many of you were right. Okay, so as you could see, I took away the pink piece of paper. You can see it is issue number four by the 004. You can see the next number is a two, which means it's a variant, which means it's the first variant they made. As you can see over here, it says the word variant, but like I said, it's not always going to say that on a comic. And the number one at the end means it is a first print. All right, so that's the first one. So be honest, let me know if you got it right. So let's do... The next of the three comics. Okay, so there we go. So again, 
Tell me, what issue number is this? Is it a variant? And what printing? So pause it and then leave your answer and let's see if you are right. You could see it's issue number four because remember the barcode, the first three numbers, 004. Is it a variant? The question is, the answer is no because it shows the number one. And what printing? It is a first print. All right. So let's get the third one. Okay, so here we go. One more time, and you could pause it. What issue number? Is it a variant? And what print is it? All right, so let's remove this. So you can see it is issue number four. This one is not a variant because you see the next number is a number one. And the printing is a number two. So that means it is a second print. So let me show you a little bit higher of a book so you can see one that's double digit. Okay, so here we have a higher number comic. Let's see if you could figure out this one. So let's zoom in. So let's see if you can tell me what is the issue number? Is it a variant? And what printing is it? So pause it and let's see if you can get this one right. All right, so let's assume that you took the chance on this one. Now, like I said, the first three numbers are the issue of the comic book. So that would make this one issue number 38. This is a variant, and it is the, the first variant. Even though it says number two, that doesn't mean it's the second variant. Because remember, number one means it is not a variant. So if you see a number two, that means it is a variant, and it's the first variant. And the last one shows that this is a first print. So there you go. Hopefully that's enough books to be able to get you to practice. I mean, you could watch this video over and over again until you think that you've mastered it. Keep in mind, like I said, there are always going to be exceptions to the rule, and it's only going to work for modern books. But it should help you to be able to, just by looking at the barcode, get a whole bunch of information without ever even opening the book or looking elsewhere. So if you appreciate these kind of videos and you like these, hit the thumbs up, share it if you think it's going to help other people. I have a playlist that shows all different types of videos that can give you good tips and advice, so check those out. I've had many people binge watch them because especially if you're new, it is going to help you. Um, don't forget to wait until the end of this video to see who's today's subscriber shout out. And if you want to be one, all you have to do is hit subscribe. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you. And uh, don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. And like I always do, we're going to do a Zoom.